Hey guys, I'm Paper Sack. Welcome to a game called Just Another Day. This is the last game I'm gonna record today. This is the last one. The other two have been actually have actually been really good. Uh, this one I found on Itch too. We're going to play hide and seek. Now go on into the basement, cover your ears, and start counting. Just make sure you give us enough time to hide. You know your father and I aren't that good at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another one? Another game like this? Okay. Well, here we go. Let's jump into Nadia's world. That was her name, right? Nadia? If I'm not mistaken. Let's jump into her world and go through her hill. <sighs> oh, no. Hey, Mr. Bear. Hey, Bobina. Feeling better? Your father and I picked something up for you while we were out. He was the nicest looking bear on the shelf, and the softest, too. Aww. He checked every bear in the store. None of the other bears were good enough for my daughter. Of course not. Here, why don't I go make you some soup to help you feel better? Yes, yes, please. I would love some soup right now. Aw. Wow, this game is pretty. Okay. Nobody has played any of these games yet, and I'm wondering why. My favorite book. I saved up all month to get it. Okay, how do I... That was nice. Do I? How do I exit out? Can I turn it? Uh, okay, there. The left click, I guess. A ball. I used to play football with my friends before they moved away. That's sad. Oh, Nadia, what is that frog doing in the kitchen? I've spent the whole day getting the house ready for our dinner guests. Okay, my bad. Come on, honey. You did tell her to go out and make friends. Aw. Get that oh, thing out that of glitching. here. Okay, I'll go get the frog. Dear Miss Nadia, how's it been, kiddo? Miss your old grandpa? I would love I would have loved to have been there for your birthday, sweetie, but your grandmother and I went on a trip with some friends. We would be gone for a while, but don't worry. I'll make sure we drop out on our way back home and tell you all about it. I'll even make sure to pick up some souvenirs for you while we're away. Now be sure to take care of your father while we're away. You know he loves getting into trouble. With love, Grandpa. Thank you, Grandpa. Let's explore a little bit. April, 1932. Papa has a meeting tonight. I guess he's going to miss dinner again. Oh, that's sad. What's this? Dear Heinrich, It's good to hear you've arrived safely from your trips abroad. As I understand it, there are more than a few people who would want to have more than a few words with you if you if given the chance it's a shame that your trip turned out as fruitless as it did perhaps once the political scene calms down some people will be more inclined to accept some of your proposed changes i would however like to send a warning about what's stirring up to the west a very radical individual is running for government and seems like a very charismatic fellow it would normally be a good idea to just stay informed of such development but he seems different i haven't heard specifics but i feel that if he gains power many things will be prone to change so be Wary. He's talking about Hitler. He's talking about Adolf Hitler. Uh, let's see. And yeah, things are really about to change. By the way, in case you don't know, both those names are SS officer names. Heinrich Himmler and Elias, uh, freaking crap, what's his last name? Those were both SS officers. Papa made these passports for his friends who were leaving Poland. Oh, shoot. Dear Heinrich, we would like to thank you, Grace Rex. It would seem Germany's new chancellor, chancellor is indeed becoming rather unruly, and we should expect problems in the near future. I have seen it personally that all these, all the supplies you require in making the forged passports and identifications are sent to you directly to assist in getting as many people out as possible. I would like to add a word of warning. There will be a little room for error if you get discovered. It is important that you leave your home immediately. For your own sake and the sake of your family, it would be the best to have some supplies packed for you to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. I hope that it never comes to this, but you always have been an attentive individual, and I doubt that will happen. Adrian. Don't know an Adrian. I don't know an Adrian. I knew the SS officers. The Doldrums Observer. Annexation of Austria. What will come next from Germany? Power of the power of minorities on the rise. That is not what's happening. Yeah, as Adolf Hitler takes power. 
So this is World War II. God damn! Look, Nadia, you can't just play with other people's things. We can't afford to replace anything right now. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. What's this? Okay. I have regret to write this, but our friends at the North Cornerstone have been raided. There are some injuries sustained during the event, but no information was found and none of our associates were taken. I would highly suggest keeping things as quiet as possible to avoid unwanted attention and make sure that you keep all essentials, unessential mementos stored away no matter what. We cannot risk more awareness being brought to us, Adrian. Uh, okay, yeah. I've already read that one. He has a meeting tonight. What does this say? Papa says I have to go by the name he put on my passport. Alva. Ava. Grimbon. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can piece together some history behind this. Okay. Uh, let's go. Did I read this one? No, I didn't. I fear that it's time for us to leave. I have reason to believe that our neighbors are aware of our activities and will arise soon. Anka is well aware of her plans, but I've been able to shelter Nadia from more recent events. From this day forward, the West Street stop is no longer safe, and I would advise all nearby branches to turn off the lights for a time. There are too many who are in support of the Third Reich. If we do not meet you by the station at 7, you must come to our house and make sure Nadia is safe. If there is a chance to save Nadia, we will risk anything for her. Heinrich. That's so sad. That really was... That's that's kind of like exactly what it was like, too. I don't want to go in the kitchen just yet. I want to go in the bathroom. Is there anything in the bathtub? No, nothing here. Okay. Uh, let's go into this room now. The bedroom. Did that change anything? No. Music playing off key. It doesn't play like it used to. But I just can't bring myself to part with it. It's all I have left of your grandmother. Oh, no. Papa said we can't celebrate Hanukkah anymore. Oh, they're Jewish. Okay. Yeah, that would be a problem to be a Jew during World War II. Hitler really didn't like those guys. Uh, what does this say? Dear Anka, your mother and I had a fantastic time at this year's Hanukkah celebration. The food was fantastic, the place was well presented, and you did an excellent job. Don't let her per, uh, pessimism get to you. You know she always has to point out anything she thinks is a flaw. Real stickler, isn't she? Thankfully, you didn't pick up on any of her habits. You are doing well. I wish we could visit more often, but travel isn't as easy to manage as it used to be. Nadia's growing up so fast, her laugh reminds me of yours. With luck, we'll be able to visit sometime sooner. When we'll do, I'll make sure to keep your mother... I'll make sure to keep your mother from getting so anxious. But in the meantime, keep doing a great job. I'm very proud of you and your mother is, is as well, no matter what she says. Elias. That's her dad. Okay, so Elias is her dad. I don't like this. Train ticket to Hungary? I don't want to go, yeah, you don't want to go to Austria, Hungary. You don't want to go to Hungary, you don't want to go to Austria, it was annexed. Where you need to do is you need to try to go east to the Americas. But immigration there is way too hard. Way harder than it should be. Armed to the teeth and ready for war. Okay, yeah, it's about Germany during World War II. Nadia, there aren't going to be any more broadcasts for a while. Oh, Come help no. your mother and I pack. Okay. Mama has been burning books to keep us warm. Okay. We haven't used firewood in so long. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, his eyes are gone. Hers are too. I don't want to click on them just yet. I want to look around a little bit more. There's not much to eat as there used to be. Okay. Uh, not yet. What is this? Mama loves putting my drawings up. She's always so proud of me. Okay. Then there's a note here. Oh, it's one of those like it's one of those Jewish tops. How are you feeling? Is your cough any better? No, actually Nadia, it's not. What's that in your hand? Is that the Nadia, you need to put the menorah away the right menorah. now. Yeah, that's what it was. I told you to get rid of it. 
Taking it out of the house is a death sentence if anyone sees it. It was safer to hide it. Okay, that's sad. That's so sad. It really is. Oh. Okay, Nadia, we're gonna play hide and seek. Now go to the basement, cover your ears, and start counting. Just make sure you give us enough time. You know, your father and I aren't that good at it. Was I not supposed to touch that? I should have talked to mom and dad first. Okay, now it's a long walk back to the basement. Oh no. Oh, there's all the things I touched. Do we have all the paperwork we need? The train tickets, passports, IDs? Calm down, dear. Everything is going to be okay. All right. Okay. Nadia, do you have everything you want to bring? Once we head out, we won't be back for a while. Remember, only bring what you really need. Yeah. We're out of time. The police are coming up the stairs right now. They must know about your forgeries. Oh, no. So fast. I thought we had more time. We have to hide Nadia. We can't let them find her. Okay. You're right. Take care of Nadia. I'll... I'll get the door. Okay, Nadia. We're going to play hide and seek. Oh, no. Dear Nadia, it's hard for us to write this letter to you, but we know that someday you might understand. Oh, Poland pleasure. is too dangerous for any of us now, and we have to do what we think is right. We might not be able to leave by the time the Nazis get here, and in that case, we need you to stay in the basement and wait for Uncle Adrian. He is going to come and keep you safe. I know all this is very confusing and scary, but we believe in you, Nadia. You are our whole world. We might not always be with you in person, but we will always be with you in your memories. Your father and I love you more than anything in the world, Bubala, Mama and Papa. Oh man. Why was that so sad? Why did I do this to myself? I wasn't ready for this. Man, that was a good game. That was such a good game. It was so pretty. It had wonderful storytelling, it had everything a good game needs. It had music, it had graphics, it had like everything. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'm sorry that I have not felt the best today. Uh, next week when I start recording, I promise I'll feel better. But well, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Bye!